G'day guys and welcome to another segment of the Roving Mike. Before we get stuck into this, we just want to congratulate Zach Clark on his Rising Star nomination during the week for his performance against St Kilda. And because of that performance, we're going to base today's segment around Zach Clark and Rising Star nominees. We've got 12 at the club at the moment, so we're going to go see how many of the boys know who some of those are and also what, what the, some of the boys know about Zach Clark himself. Used to be a very talented basketballer and got to choose between basketball and football. Luckily for us, he chose football. So, we've got a bit of a basketball challenge and a few fun questions for the lads, so we'll see who we can go find. One of, one of my favourites on the roving mic, Jay Van Berlo. Today, mate, we're talking about um, Zach Clark, who got the rising star on the weekend. So we're running with, running with a bit of a uh, rising star theme. And a bit of a basketball theme, so good to see you've got your basketball shoes on, ready to go. Yeah. I do, I have, look at those bad boys. <laughs> nice, aren't they? Anyway, and how's everything going, mate? Life good? Yeah, good enough. That's good, mate. Good. Anyway, so the topic today is basketball, because yep. we're running with Zach Clark, who got the rising star. Got to choose between basketball and football. Luckily for us, he's chosen basketball. Uh, would have been lucky for us if he chose basketball. Been, yeah, yeah, would have been really good if he had chosen basketball. Nah, but he's he's on our list now, so he's uh, a footballer. Sorry. Anyway, first question, mate. Name five people on the current list that have been nominated for a NAB Rising Star. You now you get points if you get one right, uh, or, or if you get all five right. All right. Um, there's a time limit. Twenty seconds. When's it starting now? Sorry, started. <laughs> uh, Nathan Four. Correct. Uh, yep. Stephen Hill. Yep. Matthew Pavlich. Yep, yep. Uh, five, four, you didn't. three, uh -huh. two old, two, <laughs> one. Beep, no Nick points Luton. for that one. Go. Mora, Hilly, Reese Palmer, and myself. That's five. Very good. One point already. So when you get a one right, you get to shoot. From the great, and if you get it in, you get another point. Right. This is for two points. Oh! You, <laughs> you missed that. Uh, we've got Fifey, yep. obviously Clarky, um, two, Morabito, three, um, five, four, three, two, Reese Palmer, one, yep, and Michael Barlow. No, he was to the end. No. I've just been. I've just been told that you've got your own show for all your whinging and whining. You've got your own show on DTV now, Docker TV. It's just the fans, mate. They emailed in and called up and they said they want Swoobs' own show, so bang. Got it. And what is it? Housemates. Well, what's that? I'm going to come visit you and your house, mate. Can, hardly, your house. can hardly wait. Can hardly wait. Uh, Clarky, Stephen Hill, uh, Subin. Three, yeah. Two more. We haven't had someone that won it a few years ago. Palmer. Yeah. There we go. How many is that for? One more. Who could it be? Burn. Timed out, mate. Timed out. We've got plenty. Kept Hilly. Yep. Myself. Yep. Fifey. Yep. Clarky. And I'll just say Pat. Yep. So that's well done, mate. There's 12 total on our list. So that's very... Impressive, very good, it? very impressive. So Kepler Bradley, Ibo, McPhee, Morabito, Palmer. Reese Palmer won it. Yeah, he won yeah. it. GZ would have been, I should have said him first, shouldn't nah. I? Okay, so mate, you've got one question right. So from the great, this is for two points now to take you to three and an early. Yeah. Oh, it's the <laughs> it's the backboard. Segment, Peter Forks, how are you, mate? I'm well, Mick, how are you? you got any good news? You got anything to share with us over the last couple of days? Uh, you've got a girlfriend? Me? Yeah. Um, uh, no, not as, not as yet. Okay. You got someone in mind for me? Well, maybe, maybe. Your girlfriend got any? She does. She does, so... I'll well, see if we can work bit. something out, but I was thinking more about relating to you. Okay. Yeah, I'm uh, going to run run out with the 22 this week, so... That's good, man. That's fantastic. So you've had to wait. You're 23 now. I was just talking to you in there before, so you've had to wait basically five years on Sydney's list, come over here for a whole year and eventually get your chance. So, uh, pretty exciting? Oh, uh, very excited mix, so uh, just looking forward to getting out there really. So what I'm just doing here is just trying to fill in his time and occupy some time, keep the nerves off, just keep him busy. So today, mate, we're talking about Zach Clark at the Rising Star nomination, which you and I 
made our debuts a bit too old, so we can't get those kind of uh, accolades. But as you know, and you're a bit of a basketball fan, aren't you? I am. I don't mind watching the basketball. Who do you follow? Uh, I like watching the Clippers. Okay. Yeah, the Clippers. <laughs> Blake Griffin and the boys. the boys. Okay, Matt. So, Rising Stars. We've got 12 on our list at the moment that were nominated for Rising Stars throughout their career. Can you give us five of them? Peter, you starting the stopwatch? 20 seconds. Good work, mate. Okay. <laughs> Fifey, Mora, Clarky. Uh, Ten seconds. Pav, yeah. Barra. Right on, Matt. That's five. So you get a shot from here. So that's one point from the great. This is worth two. Just some soccer skills there for you. And you've got nine points as the lead. Subs and Sun Sun. So just get that in, and you get another two. That's three points. Ball boy. You know you made it when you get a roving mic episode up in your honour. It's honestly been the highlight of my week, to be honest with me. And you've just found out about it? Yep, I just found out, just walked in and got told and I'm so stoked. You, so you won the Rising Stars, so we're doing a few questions on Rising Stars. So how many Rising Stars do you think we have at the club? Oh, we've got quite a few. I know in the last three years I think we've got five. So we've got a total of 12. Can you name five of them for us? I can. Uh, Hilly, Subes. Uh, myself, and then we've got Mora and Fifey. Are you the best out of those group? Probably the tallest. Question two. So you're on zero points, Jay. All I right. thought you were going to be really good at this. Sorry, again, How tall points. is Zach Clark in centimetres? 205. 203. Bad luck. Zero. From two. You're not going to get a shot at all. <laughs> I'm going to allow, if you get within one centimetre either side, you get the point. 203, six foot eight. That, you're very good. You got you got that one exactly right. No, 203 you're too centimeters. No, you're too mates. <laughs> oh, this is bad. You're on two points, and clearly you're not a good basketballer. No, pretty ordinary. Oh, Jesus. Can you give me a clue? Can you give me a clue? Oh, is it over 200 or under 200? What do you think? Are you uh, 201? No, 203. He's too tall. Uh, 203. Shoot from there. This is for to take you to five. The perfect start. Five. He's perfect started. What was Zach Clark's first job? It's a multiple choice. A. Pizza delivery boy. B. 5 a.m. paper round. C. Night fill at Coles. I'd say night fill at Coles because he can reach the top of the shelf. Nope, 5 a.m. paper round. He was up nice and early. I think he's a 5 a.m. paper round. Oh no, mate, you're getting all the questions right, but too bad you can't shoot. So you're on three. Go dunk this one. And this one, now you go from here. We might do dunk in the end just for oh. a bit of fun. fun. Holy moly. Oh, it's either paper boy or the Coles. Um, <laughs> paper boy. Yes. You're on four, Nick. You're going real well. Now we move it from two tiles back. Oh, two tiles. Yep. Should I use the backboard? Well, oh, the backboard's in not, not the best shape. Oh, yeah. oh, he's under six. Did you? Yeah, six. Is this a free lunch? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Three, four, six. So do you buy me lunch? If yep, yep. Doing this. Jesus. When are we doing this? Lunch? Yeah. Oh, I want it today, mate. Well, what was your first job? I won't even give you the option. It's your first job. Uh, my first job was actually a paper round at 5 a.m. Um, yeah, it's, How um, long has it been since you've been up at 5 a.m.? Yeah, a while. Since you did that job? Probably, yeah. I'm going to have to go with paper round on that one, Nick. Six from six. Okay, so where are we there? Back to here now, Pete. Six from six. Hey, mate, how are you? <laughs> and the ball's stuck in there. He's on eight. He's a perfect round over here, Krause. Krause is a bit jealous of my um, segment, aren't you, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Some heart stopping stuff out here. Bonus round. Bonus round. We'll get Fife in in a minute. For each afro you name correctly, you get a point and a shot at the goals, okay? So to come over to here. There we are. So the famous afros, if you can get each one of these you get right, you get a shot at the goals and you get points. Because you are on zero at the moment. Yeah. Alright. Top one. Is that one of the Jackson five? Michael Jackson? Yeah! Okay, one. So we get a shot. We'll take a shot. First shot, just from the great here, because you've been so poor. Oh, he missed it! One! Uh, any of the others? Uh, yeah, 
Party Rock. What's the actual name? Um, what, the band name? Um, five, four, three, two, one. I'm not giving you that one either. So we've got, we're not, I'm not going to say the answers because Nick Schumann's over here wants to cheat. It's LMFAO. Thank you. Yeah, well done. We'll get it to go. Okay. Nick, no, because you got that one right, you have to go from two tiles back. Yep. Three points total, and that is it for you, mate. You got three. You are the current leader of the Roving Mike segment. basketball <laughs> segment. <laughs> oh, who, is time, are we? who is that? It's uh, Pete Andre. Nah, incorrect. <laughs> Each one you get right, you get a point and a shot at the rim. Oh, I don't know, anyone. Um, nah. Michael Jackson? Correct. Yeah. So that's, you're under four points. You've equaled the lead, but this time, where from here? All right. <laughs> that's one of the worst shooting techniques I've ever seen. So, you're on four. Do you know any of the other two? I reckon that's... Is that LMFAO? It is. Yeah. Okay, so now we're from the shrubs. From the shrubs. <laughs> Which, well, you might be a better chance from deep. <laughs> well, I don't even know what to say. Lenny Kravitz? You're the first person to get that. How do you know him? He's a singer, eh? I don't know. I just know him. I don't know. Oh, no. Well done, mate. Okay, so we'll go take a shot for Lenny Kravitz. That's a lot of shot now, do I? Yep, so from here, so you're on seven. You're equal to the lead. This is for the, to take the lead. I should play basketball back No, wow. Okay, so you're even. Is that Michael Jackson? Yep. Yeah, it is. So now, from the bush, from the shrubs. Oh, he takes the lead. Yeah. Bang! <laughs> okay, and... Oh, they sing that song. Sing it for us? <laughs> nah. Um, it starts with Al. Party rock. Yeah, that one. Shuffling. If you can sing. Is it? They do shuffle. If you can sing us, uh, what's it called? The chorus. Party rock. The chorus of it. Actually sing it. I'll give you two points. Two, so what will that take me to? Eleven. So does that mean I win? Oh, I'll say it will lead Party up. rockers in the house. Sing it, sing it with a bit of custo. <laughs> I'm not singing it like that, mate. Okay, uh, it starts with Al. I don't, okay, I'll pass on that one. No, okay, just sing it. I just did it. Party rockers in the house tonight. <laughs> That's all I know. And who, who inspires you to grow your hair like that? One of the three definitely inspires me. I'll, uh, I reckon this man, Lenny. Lenny. Lenny Kravitz, superstar. The old uh, LMFAO, Party Rock Anthems. Great tune. Can you sing it for us? I can't sing it. I've, it's uh, yeah. It's going to be a blank at the moment, Mick, so... Is that Michael Jackson? Hey, you have. So, I know, me I, know, I know it's about you, this segment, but you would have got perfect points. And we're also doing a basketball challenge. Ooh, five, five, you broke the backboard. Don't tell anyone that. But um, he's broken the backboard, so you can't do any dunks or anything. But you used to be a bit of a basketball, is that correct? I, I did try, yeah. So you had a choice footy or basketball? Yep, and I chose footy for a reason. Yeah, didn't want to go play with LeBron. Nah, not enough money involved in that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright mate, well show us your skills for a while and we'll just uh, sit back and watch. I don't have any skills anymore. Michael Jackson, yep. Kravitz, and uh, LMFMO. So mate, you've got three points for those, now you get three shots. There we go. You're storming home. And he takes the equal way. Well done mate, storm right. home. Thank you. That is, so he moves to nine. Shallow. Uh, that's that, uh, LMFO. There it is, there's the winner. And the other one for bonus points. Lenny Kravitz. 11, now you have to go to the other side. We'll see if you can get this one. The other side. Uh, oh, 12 out of, uh, well I'm going to say 20, what, 15, well done mate, the winner of uh, the Rogue Mike segment here boys, big round of applause, <laughs> uh, well done mate, good work, okay, so, okay, there you go, so we've had six of the boys come and do our challenge today, and as you see we got better as the day went on, Peter Fawkes wins the challenge on 12 points, Michael Wallace was really good late, stormed home with nine, Jay Van Burlow and Nat Fife really need to improve their knowledge of both Zach Clark and their basketball ability because that was really, really poor.